In this video I'm going to talk about a friction question that involves finding the tension on an inclined rope. So here's the problem that I'm going to be working through. And to start with I'm going to have this diagram. So we've got the object on the rough surface that's horizontal and there's a rope that's inclined that is pulling the object along. The first thing that we can work out then is the weight which is just m times g. We also know that there will be a reaction force, that is the force of the ground pushing back up on the object. There's also going to be a tension in the rope, so this is the force along the axis of the rope. And then also there will be friction pulling back on the object, sort of resisting the motion of the object. We're also told in the question that the object is accelerating at Ax meters per second squared. OK, so I'm going to draw in some axes. So the y-axis will be anything to do with the vertical, and the x-axis will be anything to do with the horizontal. Hence why Ax is the acceleration in the x-axis. OK, and I'm going to resolve the tension into two separate forces. So I'm going to resolve it into um, a Tx using trigonometry and Ty. So for Tx, it's simply T cos theta, and for Ty, it's T sine theta. So Ty is the, the component of the tension that's pulling the object upwards in the y-axis, and the Tx is the component of the tension that's pulling the object across in the x-axis. So the acceleration in the y-direction is zero, so the forces in the y direction will balance. So the object is accelerating this way, but it's in terms of the y axis, it's not moving up or down, it's just sort of staying at this level. So the reaction force plus the tension in the rope in the y axis will equal the weight. So reaction force is going upwards, tension in the rope going upwards for Ty, those added together will be balanced out by the weight. Now we can rearrange that so that R equals W minus Ty. And instead of writing W, we can write Mg. And instead of writing Ty, we can substitute in T sine theta. So now we've got uh, a useful equation that we can use later on. The next thing I want to do is to look at the x direction. Now we know that the object is accelerating at Ax meters per second squared. So the net force will equal m times ax, so m ax newtons, um, because the object isn't at rest this time, so the, the, the net force has to equal m times ax. So we've got the tension on the rope pulling in this direction, and then we've got the friction pulling back in that direction, so tx minus f will be m ax. And we know that f equals mu r, so instead of writing F, we can write mu R. And instead of writing Tx, we can write T cos theta. So we've now got two equations with two unknowns. Now we're trying to solve for the tension in the rope T. So if we substitute in, instead of writing R, if we just write in this term here, Mg minus T sine theta, we've now got an equation with one unknown, and we can rearrange this to give us uh, an equation for T, which was what the question is asking us to solve. So um, that is just this equation here, and instead of writing R, we've written in mg minus t sine theta. So to rearrange this, the first step is to multiply out the brackets. So mu minus mu times mg is minus mu mg, and then minus mu times minus t sine theta is plus mu times mu t sine theta. Next, we're going to add mg, uh, mu mg to both sides, and that means that mu mg will cancel on this side it's because it's minus mu mg plus mu mg. So we just get this equation here. The next step is to factorize the left hand side so that t is outside the brackets. So t times in brackets cos theta plus mu sine theta is factorizing that left hand side. The right hand side just stays the same as before. 
Next, we divide both sides by cos theta plus mu sine theta, and we end up with the equation for t. So we've solved the problem. So that's been a video about uh, attention on, a, on a, an inclined rope involving friction.